Viertel toll. اش هاد تعطيلا؟ استاذ درت تليفون وما ما فيقنيش اليوم في الصباح والمشكله انا انا خرجت وحتى الطوبيس ما جاش واضطريت انا نجي على رجلي وتعطلت ما لقيت ما ندير ما كرهتش انا كون كانت عندي شي طوموبيل ونجيت انايا مع الناس الاولين يلا نبداو الامتحان استاذ قبل ما نبداو ممكن لي نمشي للطواليت خرج هنا من هنا علاش يا استاذ نخرج نمشي بحالي وانا جيت لهنا على رجلي وفي الاخر نمشي جي الامتحان الجاي في الوقت مشكلة هادي دخول خرج شوف ما بزاف هادشي اجي رجع السلام عليكم كي دايرين today we'll have a new entry from Morocco he his name is Idris or Dries in Moroccan he's a native speaker so you have now a living experience it's like if you were in Morocco. Today we will speak about the imperative. We will also see some expressions from the dialogue. If you will see someone who is late, you can use one of these expressions. So the first one is Ash had tahtila. Ash had tahtila. Why are you so late? And literally it is what is this delay? What is this delay? Ash had tahtila. Ash had tahtila. In using this expression, you are angry. Okay? If you're not so angry, you will just ask Malik Jitsi Matl. Malik Jitsi, why did you come late? Malik, what's happened to you that you came uh, delayed? Literally. Malik Jitsi Matl. If I'm speaking to a woman, I will, I will use Malki Jitsi Matla. Matl, Matla. And in the plural, matlin. So you see the relation between tatila and matl, the same three consonants. A, ta, l. Dirt telephone. Dirt telephone. I I set the alarm. So literally, I put the telephone, the cell phone which has the alarm. So this verb is dar idir which means many things it's, um, its first meaning is to put here we have to translate that with set i set the alarm so dirt telephone uma fiqnish ma fiqnish but it didn't wake me up fiq this is the pronoun for me it didn't uh, wake me up so fiq is derived from faq ifiq which means to wake up and so fiyq is to wake someone up ma krehch katskun andi shi dar kbira ma krehch katskun andi shi dar kbira and the meaning is i wish i could have a big dar a big house so ma krehch uh, you see the verb kreht is uh, used uh, is conjugated in the past tense but with a present meaning kreht is to hate or not to love i don't hate to have a big house so now let's see the imperative we have three forms uh, shrib is drink i'm speaking to a man shirbi is the feminine i'm speaking to a woman but it's not very used Shirbu, I'm speaking to uh, many persons. Drink. Uh, so, you see, it's very simple. For the negative imperative, you have to construct it from the present tense without ka. So, matshribsh, do not drink. Matshribish, I'm speaking to a woman. Matshribosh, I'm speaking to many persons. All simple verbs, uh, so we ktsib is to write, gliss to sit down, rja to come back, wakif which is the, to get up or to stop, are conjugated in the same word. Ktsib, ktsbi, ktsbu, mat ktsibsh, mat ktsbish, mat ktsbush. Rja come back, rja'i, rja'u, mat rja'sh. Of course, we have uh, some exceptions. 
uh, for example, we take the verb msha imshi, which is to go or to walk. The imperative of msha is sir, sir, feminine siri, plural siru. As for the negative, it's normal, it's regular. Matsmshish, matsmshish in the feminine, which is the same, and matsmshiush, do not go, plural. This seer is very interesting because it's an ancient verb which is now used only in Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and Oman. So this expression, sirf halik, sirf halik, stands for go, go away, leave, out of here. It's not very polite. In the dialogue we heard nimshi hali, nimshi, I go in the present without ka because it has an eventual meaning. Should I go? Uh, out of here. We have another irregular imperative which is the one of the verb ja iji. Ja iji is to come. So the imperative is aji. Aji, masculine and feminine is the same. Aji and in plural ajiu. Ajiu, come. In the negative you will use, uh, as it, with other verbs, majish, majish, majiush. Instead of aji you can use ji. G, G, U. Uh, the difference is, can, when you say Aji, your, uh, it's, you have idea of the, 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 the precise time, uh, today, tomorrow, in a month, but G is come in the future, you don't know exactly when. As you have heard in the dialogue, G l'imtihan J. G l'imtihan J. come for the next exam. You don't know exactly when. The third irregular um, imperative is from the verb ata yati, which is to give. So you have two possibilities: a regular one, which is atini, give me. Atini is the same for the feminine. Atini in the plural, give me. There is also the possibility of using ara, ara, arai, arau. But this one, ara, has no negative form. You have to go back to ma tzatinish. Ma tzatinish, ma tzatinish. If ara is followed by a verb in the present the tense without ka, for example, aran shuf, aran shuf, uh, the whole expression means let me see. Aran shuf, aran mshi, let me go, and so on. Finally, uh, this, there is no irregularity here. The verb is khruj, ikhruj, which means to go out. So the imperative can be simply khruj, go out. This is a, a rough way of uh, saying uh, get out of my face, disappear. Khruj aliya. Khruj aliya. Ghadi nshufkom fi video jaya, inshallah. Bislama. وبارتاجيو لفيديو مع أصحابكم